So I get it, you're looking for some really good computer speakers. Now, you're wanting something that actually sound decent and aren't made of plastic and aren't rubbish. Now, nowadays that's actually hard to come by. But you've come across these, the U4s. Today, we're gonna to open them up for you, show you the features that they have, and give you a sound test so that you can work out if they are worth your money. So, let's get straight into it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Okay, so now that we've got them out of the box, you can see we do get a few accessories with the speakers. You get, of course, a power cord. You get a nice little remote control with the batteries included, which is a, a nice little bonus touch. Then you get the little uh, grippy isolation feet for the bottom of the speakers. You get an auxiliary cord and you get some pretty decent quality speaker cable. So now let's connect them up and we'll just show you how they work with all the different inputs. So if you've never actually connected speakers before, it's actually a very simple process and it only takes a few minutes. Now this is one piece of speaker cable and you've got two ends on each side. Now the wire is exposed and sticking out of the plastic and each wire has a red and a black side. So you've got a positive and a negative. Now on the back of the speakers, you've got two connections. You've got a red connection, which is positive and a black connection, which is negative. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You just unscrew the little knobs you then get the red speaker cable and you put it into the red connection on the back of the speaker. Now then tighten back down those knobs and make sure the knob is actually touching the metal part of the wire and not the casing. Do the same with the black side. And then you just wanna repeat the same step on the other speaker. Now that they're connected, next step is plug them in. So now that we've got the speakers connected up and plugged into the power, the next step would be to put the isolation feet on the bottom. So flip the speakers over, get your little isolation feet, pretty simple. They're almost just like a sticker, peel off the backing and stick them onto each corner of the back of the speakers. I'll just do all of those and I'll get back to you. Once that's done, flip the speakers back over, place them down, and now you'll actually feel when you're putting them down, it's much more cushiony, more stable, and they don't slide around. So now that you've got them connected up, you've got the isolation feet on the bottom of the speakers and the power cable plugged in, it's time to decide what you want to use them with. Now in terms of connections, these speakers have a lot. That is exactly what makes the U4 such a versatile speaker. Now let's take a look. Starting at the top, you've got an RCA input, right and left, and then below that, you've actually got a ground connection. That means that this has a phono input, so you can use it with a turntable. It's also got a sub connection there. So that means you can plug a full-size subwoofer into these little speakers to make them better for home theater or just for a better music listening experience. Now, you've got the phono and line switcher there. You've got a USB output for charging, such as a streamer, if you have one with you, or your phone. It's just a really nice thing to have power on the back of the speaker. Then below that you've got an auxiliary input and you've got two optical inputs as well. Now that means that you're actually gonna be able to use these with your TV. That is such a handy feature. So you can have one on each end of your TV cabinet and even if you wanted to, plug in a subwoofer and then you're gonna have an awesome home theater experience. Now as an added bonus, you also get Bluetooth streaming. That means you can stream music directly from your phone tablet, laptop, computer, anything like that. Anything that has Bluetooth, it'll work with these. Now, in terms of how to actually use these, they do have this little knob on the front. To turn them on, you just click it and hold it, and then you will see a little indicator light come on in this little black circle down the bottom. Then to switch between sources, you simply click the button. You'll see a blue light come up when it is in Bluetooth pairing. Now that the light's flashing, I'm gonna connect my phone to the speakers and we'll give them a test. That was incredibly simple to connect them. It literally took 10 seconds. Anyway, now that we're connected, I'm gonna give you a quick sound test. So I'll space them apart a bit so you get a better listening experience. And I'd like to know what you think of them. After you've had a listen, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the U4's sound. So, 
Let's take a listen. mystery, sir. So what did you think? I thought they were pretty impressive. For the size of these things, you do get an incredible amount of detail from them and also base. Now, I'm not gonna try to sway you. I want you to tell me what you think of them in the comments down below. Now, if you would like to get a pair of these for yourself from our website, it's audiotrends.com.au. I'll also leave a link down in the description if you just wanna click that. And if you've got any questions about the Kanto U4s, you can give us a call on our number, which is 03 9874-8233. That's going to be all for this video, but I do hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching Audio Trends TV. I'll see you again very soon, so catch you later.